Hello, my beautiful people. You are welcome back to today's tutorial. You have seen the thumbnail, yes. But I just I will learn the draftings. I actually done video on this. Uh, basic bodies pattern draftings. I'll be dropping the link. So there is a hip line, waistline. So just click on the link. You take it straight to the tutorial. So guys, waist. Show that the bust point on that bust waist and the hip line. So let's quickly place our big shape extension. Might be working with seven inches, could start to work with six inches or eight inches. So this is our V line. So from the waist area, we step down with three four inches. We start to work with three inches or five inches. But might be working with four inches. Connect it straight this way to a straight row to your big line. Okay, so from the bust point, step up just one inch for the neck depth. So from in between the bows, 0.5 inch. So by the time you open it up, you'll be having one inch. Find the bust radius, 3.5 inches. Connect this way with your curve row. Okay. Place it this way. So the 0 0.5 inch that I went in with. So this is how it should look like when you are through. So towards the uh, side seam, go up just 1 inch or 0 0.5 inch. Okay, so just connect it this way. That is all for the waist area that is on that bust. So for the neck with three inches, connect it straight to your neck depth this way. And you see how beautiful it looks. So we'll not be placing that. Yes, was working with a, a velvet. Decide to work with a crepe. So it's optional. So we we'll cut it out this way. So I'll be using this pattern uh, to draft out the back panel as well. So part two of this tutorial is the stitches. So you can see what we have. So let me quickly now place the back panel. See, zipper allowance is 1.5 inches. Okay. So trace uh, this uh, one inch. I will step up with waist line and that bust and the full length just to trace it out. So this is our zipper allowance. So if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you will get notified. So the neck with uh, the same three inches, okay, but the back neck depth is just one inch. So you cut this way, place it properly. You know, a uh, back panel you don't go in. So we'll make sure you pin it down. So, put this aside, connect this waist uh, line, so this is uh, the one inch you step up with towards the side seam from the under bust, so you can see mine is a bit uh, slanted this way, so we try to make it straight. This is optional. So, this is all for the bar panel. So, the neck depth, as I said earlier, is just one inch. Connect this way. The neck width is three inches. So, our waistline going in by 0 0.5 inch. 
So by the time you finish fixing your zipper, everything will sit properly. So you connect it this way. So this is our waistline. Let me just connect the upper chest for better understanding. So cut out the neck line. The 0 0.5 inch we went in with. Cut it out this way so your zipper will sit properly. So cut out the back yoke. Let me lay by it as well. See. So let's quickly move over to the front panel. So we cut it out this way. We went in 0 0.5 inch. So for the cup area, we won't just leave it this way. The dust line will slash it open. So that there will be enough room for the boots to sit on our floor. So this is it. So we'll transfer it to our fabric. So we'll be adding our same allowance all around. Okay. So this is how should look like when you are through. So let me quickly introduce our fabric. So you see what we have? I have lining because I'll be cutting my cup area. I'll be working with Ankara fabrics. So I'll be using lining, but my uh, big shape part is a uh, velvet because I to use a crepe as a uh, polo. So the stretchy part around your waist, place it, trace it out, and show you guys 0 0.5 inch all around. But for the size seam, you have to work with a uh, one inch. So you can see what we have. So guys, this is all for this uh, pattern of this tutorial. It's at 0 0.5 inch all around. You can see the cup area. I tell my create a garden that will be enough room for the boots to sit. So guys, please find this video interesting. Hit on the like button and turn on your notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you will get notified. So guys, this is all for this part one of this tutorial. I love you all. I remain your favorite tutor. Chill Living Signature. Bye for now.